Hey guys, it's your humble host, or if you prefer, so I'm back with kind of a cool video. I want to show you guys something. Um, for those of you who are into fan animated projects, really well done projects that actually understand the characters that they are animating and dealing with. For those of you who like Batman, for those of you who miss the old Batman feel, I want to show you something very, very cool that came across my suggestions box the other night. Um, this was done very well, and as you can see, um, this kind of plays on like the old tropes of Batman. This is by Stefan Trumbull Animation, and I want to make sure this is lined up still. Yes, it is. So I'm not going to play the whole thing because I don't want to spoil it, but I want to show you one of my favorite parts of it, if you will, and introduce you to a villain not all of you may know when it comes to the city of Gotham and Batman. So like I said, I'm going to play it for you guys and just just a little bit. We're we'll split this town. I got 50 trucks out there just waiting to go out to the dealers. Waiting to flood the streets with uncut A-grade Highest quality. Scar. A fish and drug at an affordable price. Those pretty samples were supposed to drum up interest. Now I'm hearing there's some rich prick dead uptown, surrounded by my merchandise all over the evening news. That creates customer doubt. That draws the heat down on us. Or worse. Drug addicts are the everyday, even those that live in penthouses. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here. Do you, some of you old Batman fans, or a lot of the older Batman fans, will recognize who this is right away. But I want to show you, because this, I'm going to show you a little bit more, because this animator um, and his team, I don't know if this is a project he did all by himself, or he had help with other people. I want to show you what a real well-made fan animation looks like, and I want to show you when somebody understands the character really freaking well. Just what For those of you who are familiar with Scarface, you're going to understand this next scene really, really well. And for those of you who don't, you're going to kind of scratch your head at it, but let me watch. Just watch. My employer wishes to convey his firm reassurance that the integrity of our product has not been compromised in any Don't look at him! He can't even wipe his own ass. I'm the made man here. My apologies, Mr. Scarface. So, that, again, I will play it no more because I don't want to spoil it. But that scene alone, I don't know how old the animator is. I don't know how long he's um, known Batman or been a fan of the Batman series. But holy shit, <laughs> there are more scenes like that. So for those of you who do not know Scarface, Scarface is a Batman villain. I don't know when he was first introduced. But yes, he is a puppet. He is a full-blown puppet. He is not a sentient puppet. The guy behind him, his puppeteer, is called Arnold. However, if I remember the lore correctly about Arnold, he has a type of either multi-personality disorder, but these personalities are out at the same time. You have Arnold, and you have Scarface. And if you guys remember the 1990s Batman cartoon, or the animated uh, Adventures of Batman and Robin... Scarface and Arnold would talk to each other. Now, anytime anyone had any dealings with Scarface, they'd address Scarface and treat Arnold like an idiot just because of the mental condition of this character. It's, it's all Arnold. It's all this character Arnold. And so um, there's actually a point in the old Batman cartoon to where the original puppet of Scarface gets destroyed and Arnold is seen in Arkham carving out a new face. So anyway, 
I was really blown away by this animation because it's like, oh my gosh, Scarface for number one is terrifying and goofy all at the same time. And then it, it, the fact that the animator understands not only the complexity of Arnold's mental condition, but the fact that anytime he was doing something, he did all of his crimes through this puppet. And everybody addressed the puppet and was very scared to do otherwise, as you can see in that scene where <laughs> the woman almost got shot by not only Scarface, but, but by his minions in the room. So, as I said, I wanted to show this to you guys. I don't want to spoil it. I wanted to show uh, the reveal. Hopefully it didn't give too much away, but I wanted to show that this animator knows what he is doing, the story, the choreography, I can't even say that word right, the writing, it feels like Batman, it feels like this was released uh, around the same time the 1990s cartoon was released. It feels like the good animated Batman movies, I'm more of the older ones, not so much the newer ones, I need to watch some of the newer ones like a hush in the longest Halloween. Um, but go, I'm going to put this link in the description. Go, if you guys are Batman nuts, go watch this. It is freaking awesome. It is actually a lot better than the stuff that has been coming out. And I'm not just saying that because I grew up with the old Batman cartoon. I grew up with Batman Beyond. I grew up with the Batman movies. Um, I try to watch as many of the animated movies as possible. No, I do not read the comics, and I've already explained why, why I don't touch DC and Marvel comics. And it was way before all this political crap invaded them. Um, anyway, but yes, go watch this. Go enjoy yourselves. Go give the animators some love. And I hope, and this is something, because I've seen this with past fan animations, I really hope this is left alone. Meaning that WB, DC, none of them tries to touch this because I'm actually kind of half scared that some of the bigger studios are going to come down on this animator because it's happened before. We've seen it with Star Wars. We've seen it with Pokemon. We've seen it with some other ones. So I'm really, really hoping this animator is left the hell alone and his stuff stays up. Go enjoy this. Go savor it. Please, 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 go share it around because it's really freaking cool. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.